The image is stunning. Doctors pulling off a miracle. Says he's not having pain. The teenage victim of a freak accident surviving a spear. A three-foot spear flying straight into the boy's brain. But amazingly, doctors say he's already well on his way to making a miraculous recovery. Seven's Robin Simmons has the latest on the boy's condition from JMH. Intensive care, a major move following a major injury. This is how Yasser Lopez arrived at Jackson Memorial Hospital June 7th, securely strapped to a backboard. If you look closely, you can see why that was so critical. It's a striking injury. It's something you don't see every day to have a you know patient arrive awake and speaking with a three foot spear through his head. As the 16 year old and a 15 year old friend were loading a spear gun to go fishing, police say the gun accidentally went off. Thankfully, no one made what doctors say is the most common mistake. The most important thing is to resist that temptation to pull the thing out. Here it is on x-ray. You can see the tip of the spear actually went through the back of the teen's skull, but miraculously missed major blood vessels. He's also lucky it hit the right side of his brain and not the left, which would have affected speech. Before the three hours surgery, the focus for doctors was preventing more damage. A rebar tool used to cut down more than a foot of the spear for a CT scan. We quickly uh, got our anesthesia colleagues to sedate him and uh, intubate him, meaning we put a breathing tube in um, and, then, and then chemically paralyzed him so he would remain still so the spear wouldn't move. His mother never leaving her son's side during the past 11 days. Doctors say aside from possible problems with his left side and some memory loss, the 16 year old's prognosis is good. He's going into rehab very soon within some time this week. Uh, and young people rehabilitate from injuries like this incredibly well. So we are very upbeat about his potential for recovery. Now, doctors say it is typical that Yasser does not remember the actual incident. They say it's a kind of amnesia that happens. Not a big deal. They say that he is also going to have a bit of clumsiness on his left side because of where his injury was, but he is right handed. So that is something that is easily overcome. They believe his rehabilitation should take about three months. Reporting from Jackson Memorial Hospital, Robin Simmons today in Florida. And, 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 and